Um, I'm Frankie. I'm the uh, the Belgian CTO guy. And uh, in my not so, not so many spare time. I have run a small side business converting arcade, arcade cabinets to something with more um, of a PC in them and um, also um, well, getting them back to work in, in general. So many people ask me, okay, how do I do this? How does all the all work? Um, I made this presentation a time ago. Um, to, to do this, I've done it, uh, what it's over some several hacker spaces in um, well, Belgium, uh, France, and Holland and stuff. And um, well, now also here in it, um, quite the cost of pond. Um, first, I'm showing. So, um, let's first of all, I like to do this uh, sh show of hands things, um, and then let's see if it totally pops out or not. Is that who has an arcade machine at home or in his man cave? One, two, three. Okay, who has, who has actually tried to build one and failed? And who wants one? So um, there is also the, the laziness factor. I put the it's not a Twitter address at the bottom, so the new is pinball Frankie oh, and not Frankie six five eight one. If, if somebody wants to fanboy. Now um, how to do this is like this. This is everything. This is this is the presentation slash people we will come to. That's how you look, hook everything up. Questions. <laughs> I'm glad you get the joke. So let's dumb it down for a bit. Um, Mike, I'm going to move the microphone a bit away because I'm banging my head into it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So dumbing it down is your it's 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 input, a CPU and output. Things things go in which are controls. So those are your buttons. A computer thing in the middle um, processes it and throws it out through an output which are monitors and, and speakers, and just to be nice, you, you add some blinking lights as well to make it more shiny. Yes. Oh, now, you know, in between, oh, things happen, um, and that's very simplistically said, the orange magic and the green magic to which we, we will come back, or I will come back, and you will endure, we will come back later. So, going to the input, um, people say, well, okay, you need joysticks and buttons, and you need to have Sonos or Saibitsus, or which are um, Japanese brands, uh, uh, or you need uh, the, the American style Suzo hats. That actually does not matter. Uh, which uh, for this, how it works, it, it's, it's a controlling and a personal preference. But your your new best friend is the micro switch, uh, which usually comes with three connectors: a common, a normally closed, and a normally open. The the common is your is your ground circuitry which you will use for uh, pretty much uh, everything and you will um, connect your <laughs> cables to the normally open which is not connected normally closed is always on, normally um, open is always off, you want to close that one so it's, uh, you will see here, I'll point this screen real quickly so, the bottom one, that's your common and the one in the middle is your normally open um, the third one at the top, the normally closes, not really used for this. So all the all the ground circuitry you can just tie it all together in one big loop. That's fine. Also, if you have somewhere an arcade machine where you say, well, half my control panel is not working or something is not working correctly, that's the first thing to look for. See that you have go to the first button and the last button in the chain with a small meter if you have a connection. That, that your ground loop is okay, that's half your job. Usually when um, people bring in their machines to me, that's the first thing I measure, I resold the one wire and charge 50 euros. <laughs> um, next is all the individual connections which go to the uh, normally opens as I just discussed. Now, here is the, the, the orange magic, you have to get um, all the stuff from the buttons to the computer and back. First of all, into the computer. Now, you can do it with, with two ways. First of all is uh, a JAMA cable. Secondly is um, an iPad. Now, what the hell is uh, a JAMA cable? JAMA stands for the, I have to read this on my screen, the Japan Amusement Machine Manufacturers Association. It's a, it's, it's, it's a collection of the Japanese amusement um, industry. They, they still exist. Uh, but they uh, made a standardized cable loom to um, allow easier swapping out of games in the mid-80s 
and came into effect about 85. Some, some, uh, some vendors wait a bit longer. Uh, it's, um, if, if you see, but usually Java games are the one to go for if you want standardized cable, else you, have, you will have to make your own wire loom if you put something in there. Um, a bit confusing for some is that it, it handles input, output and power at the same time. Uh, the, you will have dedicated cables for the buttons, cables coming out again for uh, video and audio, and it will also handle power. Uh, 12 volt uh, for the sound, 5 volt for the logic, and minus 5 volt for the really old strange sound cards. If, if something is in a cabinet this morning and you have no sound, check the 12 volt line. Uh, usually. That one's broken on the power supply, so it's 50 euros plus 25 euros new power supply that they can sell them. <laughs> and the iPad is an IT not made by Apple, they do exist. It's a uh, it's USB interface um, that will allow you to easily hook up all the controls to your uh, well PC or device you have in there. Um, normal USB will usually crap out at 4 to 6 simultaneously pressed buttons. Um, if you are in a two-player Street Fighter 2 game and one player is going up left, which are two, two connections, and um, doing a kick, the, the second player are crouching down left and will want to push two buttons, we'll have, we'll have no luck because you can only have six of the standard connections you already need. An iPad does not have this, this limitation. Um, good to know is you don't need any driver for this. It's, it's a universal human interface device works on any anything which was released post Windows XP, Mac or Linux. It, it's plug-in and works. I think the first time it needs five minutes or five, five or two minutes to get a become active and load all the drivers in the Windows environment, but uh, after that you're good. Um, it does come with its own configuration software, uh, which is an entirely different topic, which is not included here. Um, most of all, the problem is because it's such a pain in the ass, but it's, it works. So, output. Um, three options. Of course, I'm, I'm not discussing sound here because that's a normal speaker. Uh, you, can, you can put in a small sound and blah. blah. Um, so, the most problems will be with uh, the screens. You can either use an original monitor, a VGA monitor, or an, an old TV. Uh, arcade monitors are, of course, the best. Um, problem is, compare them to a TV which has been switched on non-stop for 15 years long. They don't exist anymore. Those that exist, they, they need repair work. And don't know here in the States, but in Europe, those old guys who used to work in, at the TV, in the TV factory and fix them in the spare tires are literally dying, up, dying off. So finding, finding someone who can repair uh, a TV well, if you get them, put them on life support and keep them with you. Computer monitors are, of course, easy. It's, it's, it's a VGA signal. Um, issue here is that um, the really large ones, which you would like in your arcade cabinet, weigh a ton. They're heavy, they're, they're, they're cumbersome, they have uh, 500 kilograms of plastic around them, and mounting them is not easy as well. Um, also, you, you will need special uh, equipment to hook it up. Um, that's covered in the presentation uh, briefly, but it's there. Um, same for a CRT TV. Same thing goes for the arcade monitor when it comes to repairing them, but they will have less hours on them, so you uh, have a better chance of finding and working on. And you also have a bit more of common connections, uh, which you can find in your in, in your house. So. A bit of a uh, tiny bit of mathematics here is how do we get there. When you when you look at it, you will see okay, this is a 15 kilohertz screen or this is a 21 kilohertz screen. Um, 50 kilohertz is, is is a TV, 21 is PGA. Uh, how do we get there? You have your 50 and 60 hertz. I think everybody is pretty common with that's how much your um, electron beam goes up and down the screen. Now, of course, it also goes left and right. Um, if you have a 300 lines RGB signal, which is what an arcade monitor is, more or less, there is no fixed resolution, um, you will have um, 300 times left and right a second, um, no, per frame, that's 15,000 times left and right per second. As, as, as VGA has a fixed higher resolution, 
and more lines, it will do about 31,000 times left to right. So think about the mileage for CRT screen does every day. It's a lot if you add it up. So there is well, the, good, the good news and the bad news. Um, the original arcade PCBs, which is um, here at top left, um, I think it's uh, bootleg, bootleg Street Fighter 2, which I took as a picture. Connecting that up to your um, arcade screen or TV is no problem. Why? Because this one puts out a nice 15 kilohertz, well, nice, uh, puts out a 15 kilohertz image which you can convert more or less one to one. Same for the PC, you hook up the VGA cable and you're done. In between, when you're going from PC to uh, arcade monitor or from a game uh, board to a uh, VGA, you need, well, the green magic is, is what we came back to in the, uh, in the output section. So, for this you have video converter boards. They're um, available on the internet in the, in the Chinese wholesale shops. Um, go for about uh, 40, 50 euros, so that's about uh, 50, 60 dollars. If you see somebody on eBay asking 100 dollars for them, please call me, I have them cheaper. Um, and they will convert everything to everything. They will convert uh, a, a, a VGA to an RGB signal or the other way around. You will have US video outputs. Some even add, add HDMI these days. They're, they're really small, flexible boards. The only downside is, is that the, on, the on-screen displays are all in Chinese. Usually option 4 is language. <laughs> what I want. And then you can go ahead and into anything. And if you have a JAMA cable in the camera machine which you want to reuse, um, you could have uh, the JPEG, which is an older version of the iPad, but with a standardized uh, JAMA interface. Important to know is that this will not do your video conversion. It's a one-to-one -one transfer. There are some safeguards that you will not blow up your arcade screen with a VGA signal. It, 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 it kind of doubles the, the scan line that you can do for debugging and installing, but it's not intended for long-term usage. Also, as JAMA is um, two joysticks with uh, three buttons each by design, this uh, little device adds additional uh, wires. Uh, for if, for instance, a Street Fighter 2 is 6 buttons, your Mortal Kombat is 5 or 6. Um, so you will need to add extra buttons uh, here. But you can do that, that's what the little screw terminals at the bottom are for. This is also where you will uh, connect your uh, PC audio. Now, getting this video signal to your JPEG, you have two options. You have hardware or you have software. Hardware is um, getting a um, video card with uh, modified uh, software modified bias. Because your video card in your PC can actually output the resolution, but the defenders as well, everybody's using PCs and, and, and Windows, we don't need to provide it in the driver. So this is uh, um, a video card with the with modified um, software on this, which will then output in uh, VGA and DVI. I think the latest version also have an HDMI output. Um, if you if you really feel like it, because it's really necessary. Um, software has the registry, whereas the hardware has the, it has software on on board. Um, the software is it's 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 it throws in a bunch of registry keys on your Windows machine. If you have uh, Linux, for instance, you can probably modify the parameters of your video card somewhere and uh, and do that. Um, I have used both both versions. Um, the software really depends on your video cards, meaning that the older the video card, the better. Now, if you want to do a PC with MAME, take into in mind that MAME is not really accelerated in its default version, so any 2D card will actually do just, just fine. Just grab any old ATI card uh, for a couple of dollars and that'll work, usually. And I also mentioned the um, TV thing. This is, um, I don't think you have many start connectors here in the States. Um, but just for uh, argument's sake, is uh, it's uh, a European uh, French by design video socket which has all the RGB signals on it. And you have your red, greens, your blues, your horizontal and vertical sync, uh, wire it up all together and um, put in some resistors because the voltages are different. So, in summary, when you, when you use VGA, you, you start off again at the input, which are your joysticks and your 
buttons you that goes through your iPad you're using a complete emulation tablet, nothing else. This goes to your PC and your PC puts it out of your screen. This is the most simple uh, method you can you can have. Um, it's also also the most commonly used actually because people find an empty wooden box and they want to uh, create an, uh, an, an arcade machine for that and it'll it, it'll it'll work just just fine. Um, yeah, my cabinet. All right. This is um, the cabinet with a CRT, but still with, with the PC in it. So you, you will have um, there is no jammer cable, so you buy it again in an empty box, but you have a screen that you can put in it. Um, so you will need to do your video conversion. That's you would either with the uh, VTA card or with the, with the uh, video converter board itself. Uh, they, they, those boards, by the way, come with nice kits with a gazillion of cables to take five volt power off your wiring wire loom. That's all um, included these, these days. It's, um, um, there is not really a manual, but you really don't, don't need one. So, um, getting this is dedicated to the This is your origin, original arcade game, that's how it was supposed to be. So, your joysticks go into your cabling, which goes to your game, and that outputs. This is what by design is an arcade machine functioning like. It, it uses the cable twice, we remember, for input and for output signals. Um, and then um, if it's a jammer cabinet, so with uh, a CRT and that, so say you, you found a Mortal Kombat NBA jammer cabinet, a killer mystic, then you want to put a PC in that uh, for uh, well, playing more than one game. So your choices and buttons go into the cable, this goes into your JPEG for converting uh, towards the PC. The PC um, plays the game, runs the emulation, it outputs through the software or the video card goes to, back to the JPEG, back into the cable and onto your screen. This is, this is the picture I started off with. <coughs> and of course there was also an entire software part, which um, I'm still working on, it didn't get finished. So to see that you have to come to revision or maybe come back here next year. This is marketing. <laughs> um, so that's it. Um, very short rundown, extremely short, I know. Um, but still, um, questions. I'll, I'll, I'll be here all weekend together with Zipboard, so ask away. In the corner. So, um, if you have a more modern, uh, if, if, if you have a China cabinet that has something uh, uh, a more modern game like a PDA, say it's running the only or something, mm -hmm. that VGA output coming out of the machine. Okay, okay, I'll repeat the question for the stream. So, um, the question is: is um, if you take a Naomi board, can you reuse that screen? Yes. Uh, so, when you arcade monitor has to be a just like Naomi, you can perfectly use that. Uh, many will actually have a VGA connector somewhere in the back. It depends on the brand of the screen. Some have it, some don't. Right. Uh, but when it's there and you're having a 21 kilohertz capable arcade screen, of course, no problem. You can do that. Okay. Cool. Um, did you have a question? Um, yeah, I was just, uh, I was just, uh, it's possible I believe what I'm talking about, but okay. um, on the last diagram, you sort of had basically the uh, view input from the PC going into the general board and then from the general board out to the display, I thought. Um, and this, this one? Yeah. So, okay. so is the general board like actually doing any sort of video conversion? Uh, no. So um, in this one, the, the JPEG is not doing any video conversion. It, it, it's only lower, it, it, it's actually upping the voltages as, as uh, VGAs. 3.3 volts, where arcade motors expect a 5 volt TTL I level. So, okay. so, so it's, it's doing a wee bit of uh, conversion and also protection that you won't accidentally um, make the code escape by like gray smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think we have additional controls like the tripod or the Does that mean you need to use two iPads? Alright, for um, uh, additional controls, such as uh, so more, so more analog controllers, you have, you have different boards. Um, um, you have um, an A pack which handles the analog part. Um, it, it handles, um, I think it can do with um, two spinners and two um, pop meters, which, which is usually your pedals and your steering wheel. Um, there are also some other products which are fully configurable that you can, uh, from the same vendor, it's uh, Ultimark. 
where you can really uh, reassign by software each pin. This is analog input, this is analog output, this is uh, a joystick. Those exist. It's a lot of configuration work, but yeah, but yes, it's, it's possible into one uh, USB device. Okay. More questions? Um, what, what's a good idea for getting an actual cabinet? A good idea for an actual cabinet? Um, um, well, if, if you, I think empty universal cabinet, just just the woodwork or with a, with a control panel attached to it, or what do you look for? Turn off the above. <laughs> well, um, a empty wooden box you can pick up for $10, $20. A mint uh, ultimate model combat three will go um, well. It's up, I've seen it up to four hundred euros, but um, as arcade machines are much better here, just the seven eight hundred dollars just for the game. But that would be then with a working home monitor and with the game inside of it, which you can then resell again if you really want to. Um, and so, are there any places you can sort of get good sort of controllers, um, say on eBay or whatever? Um, um yeah. You do have some online vendors uh, in the in the US. I can give you the links later, where you can just mail order, and they will uh, uh, ship it over. Or well, contact me, and I'll see what I have, what I have left in stock. Okay. All right, then um, that's it. Thank you.